Hello and welcome back. This is Devil Debbie and this is episode 12 of Stoneblock. Yes, <laughs> I have been very, very busy doing all the stuff and things. Do, do, do. I don't really um, remember where last we left off because it's been quite a while since I recorded my last video and I actually have like, um, I think five episodes recorded that I haven't uploaded yet. <laughs> so I did get them all rendered though. So they'll be probably going up all at once uh, today after I'm done recording. Uh, anyway, I have, I started playing again. I had to, had to take a little break. Um, I've been, um, fighting cancer this last year and recording has been a distraction for me while I'm on medical leave. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm hoping I'll, I'll probably record some when I go back to work, but not as often. Uh, but I was pushing it a little bit too hard. I wasn't getting enough rest. So because I was recording Minecraft and seven days to die. And I was doing like three days, of, three videos a day for seven days to die, which was a lot. And I've decided I'm just going to do stone block, uh, and try to keep, keep it down to a minimum uh, so that I can get some rest because I want to when I go see the doctor in January I, it's just a couple of weeks away I want him to send me back to work <laughs> hopefully but I haven't really um, my hands and my feet haven't recovered as nicely as I wanted um, thus far so anyway I want to show you what I've done with the stuff and things. Um, what I've been working on off camera is I've been working on setting up another sifting system for dust. And that's this over here. I made another room upstairs as well uh, for all the sifters. go and I moved all of these over here okay sorry about that um <laughs> I made nine more sieves and nine more diamond mesh um and this little guy over here is just trucking along uh, i did notice that um my machines down there are out of power so we're gonna have to get an uh, get more power to that so because it's not going as fast um as it should right now it's got quite a bit of gravel built up in there Boing! Uh, because I well it doesn't it must have went through it all um I had been throwing dust and sand in there to be sieved um, actually the dust mainly not the dust the sand so that I could get some more yellowite so I got three blocks of yellowite under there to produce lava and uh, some magmatic generators. I went ahead and went with the extra utility since we already have the setup for the grid power. And <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not sure how well these are gonna keep up. They're doing so right now because they're not using that much lava because they're uh, they're full I don't have anything drawing it out but my plan was I was I was trying to figure out the easiest way to get dust and there's just none I mean if you go uh, use a crusher you've got to go 
you've got to have one crusher to crush the cobble into gravel and then another one to crush the gravel into dirt and then another one to crush the dirt into sand and then another one to crush the sand into dust so that's a lot of machines so what i wanted to do was go into the industrial foregoing which i've already done back here and get oh i'm pushing the wrong button and get this guy uh the material stonework factory because it's super cool and awesome uh, so that's what i've been working on and i have um in in order to get this the the drawback is um the hard part is getting the plastic going and getting the pink slime everything else we pretty much have covered uh, you know as basic materials uh, but the plastic you have to get um, these dry rubber and to get that you have to get tr tiny dry rubber nine of them and combine them and that can be gotten from the latex processing unit which we have over here i have a little setup uh this is the cyclic block placer i place like three stacks of wood in there and it's just placed in this block here so that this tree fluid extractor can get latex from it and then this is piping the latex over to the latex processing unit which is building up a tiny dry rubber for us uh, it also needs water so i had to get a sink uh, which was just clay um, well the terracotta the cooked clay and some iron and a bucket of water which wasn't an issue and then it's just getting piped in there and this all you do is you put nine of them in the crafting grid and and then you smelt it and you get the plastic so i made this mob slaughter factory but the thing is i think this needs power so um yeah it has it needs power and we don't have any power over there because our current uh mob killing system is just the iron spikes so when it, what i was planning on doing was just maybe knocking a hole right here and getting a battery uh and maybe getting two making two energy cells um I can swap them out that way while one is over there powering the slaughterhouse another one can be charging so that would be awesome but um, I think that takes like lead copper maybe some iron and I think just some redstone <laughs> that's like all the redstone I have and I'm hoping that uh, that will last until I get this uh, material stonework factory set up because it will it's basically if you look at the recipe it's basically a cobble generator it's got a bucket of water a bucket of lava an iron pick <laughs> it's generating cobble and then you can do various things in there with the cobble all in one block it does take power so it's it's not exactly like <laughs> a cobble generator because our our cobble generator that's down there does not take power it just produces cobble over and over all on its own so anyway oh yes we want energy cells so i'm going to go ahead i already uh these are all the different blocks i had to make i had to make um and they're basic stuff we have access to all this stuff it's just iron cobblestone redstone dispenser that was for the block placer um i went ahead and went with that one because it i mean it's two redstone uh but this one took a bit more iron so like it's still two redstone but it's three iron whereas this one's only two iron and two redstone 
So it's a little bit cheaper. There's also a block placer for industrial foregoing, but uh, yeah, it took the plastic, which at the moment when I was building that, I didn't have the plastic yet, so I couldn't build it. <laughs> so we needed one of these other two. Um, and then the, the tree fluid extractor. It doesn't take power either, by the way. It's just stone, an iron gear, which is just four iron, a redstone, and a furnace. Easy peasy. And then um, the latex processing unit. Again, it's just iron, redstone, cobble. Um, I went with the machine frame over the machine case. There are three different recipes here. This one takes steel. We don't have steel right now, so I'm not going to do that. Um, but the machine case took nine redstone, so I didn't want to do that, so I went ahead and did the machine frame because it doesn't take any redstone at all. So I have a lot of the, the, the metals coming in from the gravel, so this isn't an issue. Whereas I don't have anything... I don't have any, any redstone automatically coming in at the moment. So what I have is um, <laughs> what I've gotten from manually grinding down the dust, which is kind of painful because there's so many steps to it, uh, but it's doable. So I went with this recipe and got the processing unit. And of course we had the sink, um, so again, just the terracotta, a bucket and some iron with some water in it. Um, and, and we've already made all like the pipes and stuff for extra utilities. Uh, so that was easy. And, um, those magmatic generators down there, let's show you the recipe for those. They were pretty simple too. I also completed a couple of quests making all this stuff, but I didn't turn them in. So these were, uh, five gold, a bucket of lava, two redstone, and a furnace generator. That making this was a quest and also making this was a quest. Uh, and that's just five iron, two more redstone, a furnace and the machine block. And I had three machine blocks in my chest down there, which I, <laughs> I used that. So yeah, that's, uh, we, we made four and had three extra, so good for me. <laughs> Saving on the redstone. I went with this because we already have a setup for extra utilities. We can upgrade these um, using our extra grid power if we need it. Uh, because these become really amazing when you upgrade them. We'll go down there once we get the cells made up. And, and see how how much an upgrade will do. So let's look at, oh, let's put an energy cell. Yeah, I just wanna make a couple of these and maybe we can upgrade them with some Invar. I believe I have some down at the smeltery. Uh, so yeah, it is expensive. Nine redstone plus this uh, is another two redstone. So that's 11 redstone total. Uh, and we also need electrum. So we need to go back down because our electrum is down here at the alloy smelter. Right now this is, I mean, we have this setup up here that is smelting all of our base ores that we're getting from here. It's uh, converting all of these down uh, into the chunks and then the chunks are getting smelted. And uh, well, the chunks are getting pulverized and then smelted and then put in here. So everything's automatic. Uh, but, boing. I've just been manually doing uh, Oh, we don't have any invar down here, so we need to go and grab some. We do have some electrum though. We're gonna want two of those. So while we're making these cells, we'll get um, 
we'll get some invar going because we should have some nickel up here. Uh, let's see. There we go. That should be gaboodles of stuff. Boink. Ugh. And we'll need to turn this off so it doesn't suck it out until it's made all of our uh, in bar for us. So we could go ahead and start crafting this while that's smelting that up. We're going to need two blocks of redstone. Ouch. <laughs> that's, that's like uh, so much right now. And then we need to make two of these. Boink. Um, then we need two energy frames. Oh, I forgot and I didn't shift. That's okay. That's easy. Uh, I have some glass. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. And there we go. Um, yeah, so what we want is to upgrade those now with the invar. I believe you can do that just by surrounding it with invar. What? Wait. Can these not be upgraded? I guess not. What the heck do I need? It it stores two million RF and it will transmit. Am I doing this wrong? I, they've always been able to be upgraded, but I guess um I guess I don't need that in bar after all. We'll just go ahead and pull it out. All right, so. <laughs> oh, oh, I know, you need the kits. You need the kits to upgrade them, right? Um, it's a kit that you just right click on it like an iron chest. So you have like a hardened upgrade kit, which is that uh, bronze and invar. Uh, which we totally have, and it takes two redstone. Ugh. Okay, well, I would really like to upgrade them, so let's go see. Uh, do we have bronze over here? No! <laughs> Okay, um, and we don't have any tin on us. Dang it. And that's gonna take, what the? <gasps> Look at all the parrots. It's paradise. <laughs> paradise. Oh, there's a blue and a green and a light blue and a red one. Oh, that's awesome. They, all that stuff is despawning too, I think. Or sometimes the cats will run over and um, they'll path into my little water things over there and drown themselves and it. it's like, it's really sad, but what can I do? I can't stop them. Okay, we need that tin to go make some bronze. Um, ugh. So bronze is 110, let's do that, and then three copper, so like that should 
be the right recipe. And that should take it a while to do all of that. Get all that pulled out. So let's see, these should um, melt up pretty fast. Did I accidentally take one out? I hope I didn't. I think I did. Oh, I don't know. Let's see. It's still converting. Yeah, it's got three nuggets. It's got three nuggets left over. Come on, you can do it. Aha, uh -huh. there we go. Now we have all the bronze. All right, so that'll be making over there. And we can go ahead and place these guys down. Um, I wonder, can I just set these on top? Will they, what? no, it's supposed to go. There we go, yeah, it's going in. Let's make this one go in too. We'll start filling them up. And that has quite a bit, a thousand, a hundred thousand RF stored up. So there we go. I can just, I, I didn't even think about putting them on top, so I don't need to bust up my floor or anything. Awesome! So <laughs> that will uh, be charging and we need to get this mob slaughter factory set up but I believe we're gonna need we're gonna need to store two different types of fluid because this is just like MFR this is um, <laughs> I mean even the machines look similar some of the stuff is a little bit different but uh, it's basically mine factory reloaded like how you get the plastic you don't have trees anymore you basically uh, you know, do this to get the plastic instead of chopping down a rubber tree. I preferred the rubber tree, but you know, you do what you're gonna do. Um, and oh, the little parrots are talking. It's so cute. Okay, so <laughs> I can hear them. Quack. All right, so. Yeah, we need, I think, some glass. Uh, unless they've changed um, some of the thermal expansion recipes. I believe you could get a tank like this. What? Okay. Um, tank. mechanism does thermal expansion even have a tank is it let's um they have energy cells <clears throat> there's all their machines and their pipes and whatnot There's the kits. Oh, it does not look like they have the tanks anymore. What are these? A quiver? That's kind of, so is this like hold your arrows for you? Abuse arrows with potions. Oh. Oh, that's that's nifty I didn't know they even had that 
anyway, let's get back to the tank. I can't believe they don't have the tank. I love the tank. The tank had such a nice, easy recipe. Let's just double check. Make sure I don't... Uh, they have the satchels. And the strong box. Yeah, I'm just... Oh, wait, 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 wait. There it is. It's called a reservoir now. A reservoir. Okay, it's a little bit different. A bucket, two copper, ten, and this redstone servo. Okay, let's do that. Uh... Now, this looks like an item. Is that something that I can place? Oh, no, no, here's the tank. Oh, it takes, it's the same recipe, but it adds the servo. Okay, we can do that. You used to not have the servo in the recipe, so we're gonna need, uh, oh, we need two more glass. There we go. Yeah, it's only got one instead of the upgrade. So I believe you upgrade those the same way as the other ones. This is sucked all our stuff out. Awesome. So we're going to need eight of those. Ah, let's just get them all out. So we... Uh, where's the kit? The kit, the kit, the kit. Boink. There we go. Uh, we need two bronze gears. And there we go. Awesome. So now we should just go over there and right click these on those. And boy. Now how much do they have? They put out 4,000 RF a tick and they hold 8 million RF. <laughs> okay. So that's all well and good, but they're not getting filled up very fast. Um, I think this puts out like 40 RF a tick, but it can use upgrades. So let's go see how good a speed upgrade works on that. There are our speed. We have two normal speed upgrades and we have two six magical. Oh, we also have these. I believe they're all the same except for their stack ability. So like these only stack up to four. These stack up to 16 and these stack up to 64. Right now, um, I just want to see what like one <laughs> upgrade will do for it. So let's see, let's just put one of these guys in there. Now it looks, uh, looks like it's producing 80 RF a tick, which doubles it. I don't know that that actually speeds it up, but increases. I don't know, that looks like it's going pretty fast. This one is stopped because it's full. Awesome. So, <laughs> what if, oh my God, I got to sneeze. So it looks like it does speed it up. This is six. Okay. Let's look. This is 6.25 seconds. Oh, not only does it double the power oh well I guess it, if it doubles the power it halves the time so there you go so this should give it 120 RF Ooh, yeah 
So let's just put two in all of them and get 120 RF a tick. Now this one, it doesn't have anything on it, but once we get our uh, machines over here, it's going to be sucking up the juice. <sighs> All right, so now we have some portable tanks, and we might want to... How much does that hold? Oh, that holds 20 buckets. That's way bigger than before. It used to only hold 8 buckets. Oh, let's go ahead and upgrade them. One, no, I need to worry about my redstone a little bit now. Okay, so we're going to have to change this out. We're going to have to take out those spikes. Uh, and just put in normal floor. You picked everything up, didn't you? Because you're a good little guy. All right. Um... Let's place these back here. And I think it places it where it's facing away from me. Yeah, so that should work. And I should be able to put... <clears throat> Actually, I'm probably going to have to get... Um, pipes to pull no I guess it doesn't have an, an inventory so I'm hoping that it's going to drop everything on the ground and that this will pick it up so we just need to supply it with power and pull fluids out of it so I guess that will work. I don't know. Um, do we have the pipes and the nodes to pull stuff out? Oh, we only have one fluid transfer node and I used all my pipes. So, <laughs> okay. Oh, actually, do I have some? Oh, I only have five. That's not enough. I need glass. I think I need a little bit of glass. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. Is it two glass and one redstone? Yeah. Oh, we only need one of those. I forgot it makes 64. Which is crazy. Alright. Uh, but we do need another one of these transfer nodes. I think it takes a bucket. Oh, and a couple of stone. pull the recipe from there. Yeah, because we're going to need two of those. And let's go ahead and... Oh, do I... Yeah, 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 yeah. I got a wrench. Let's go ahead and uh, grab one of these. There we go. So we can just stick this right there and tell it to put it out the back. There we go. Yes. <laughs> so I'm wondering, can can these nodes um, put it into the side or does it have to go in through the top or bottom? I just don't know. Aha! There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. There's our pink slime. Ah! Oh. You know, it used to tell you how much was in it. Can I, if I hold that, will it tell me? 
Yeah, this is no good. It doesn't tell you like how much pink slime is in there. I guess the one way to find out is to try to scoop it. Oh, there's not enough. And this other one is um, liquid meat. It's, uh, yeah, yummy. So we need to just let this run for a while. And whenever it gets a thousand millibuckets, we can scoop the pink slime out, place it on the ground, and then after a random amount of time, it'll turn into a pink slime and we can kill it <laughs> and get pink slime balls. And uh, we just need one to make our doodad. Let's, let's look at that. Uh, it was the stonework. Material stonework factory. I guess we can go ahead and get all of our other things. Um, I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, wait. What is this one? Yeah. See, this would be an okay option, too. As long as you have the grains of infinity. And I'm pretty sure we got those. That might even be cheaper than the other one. Oh! Diamonds! Oh, we have like four stacks of those. Because that doesn't take glass and it doesn't take tin gear. It's just iron and one of these. So it's like four iron and four iron bars. I think that's a lot cheaper. So we just need to make one set of iron bars and then there we go. So that part's done and we need a furnace and I had two other plastic smelting because when I went back there and grabbed it because I needed some plastic to make uh, Oh, the machine, uh, the mob, the slaughter factory. I needed the plastic for that. Uh, so, I think I have a crafting table. There we go. And we need an iron pick. Oh, I don't have the sticks. There we go. So... We should be far enough away for that mob farm to work. Okay, we got the plastic, the crafting table. Oh, we need a furnace and a bucket of lava and a bucket of water. Here's the furnace. Boink. And, oh, we have, we have so many buckets because, oh, let's go. Let's go check back here because I have been getting buckets with lava and water put in them already. So I think I've already looted or used up all the lava buckets. I have one up here. No. Okay. So we just need a bucket of lava. What about... No. Okay. <laughs> Um, w the way this is set up now, it should be fine, um, but we could actually, uh, because this takes upgrades, um, over here, you can put upgrades, uh, to increase the range of it, actually, you could, uh, do gobs of things to it. Uh, oh, yeah. look at all the upgrades from all the different mods. Um, but we're looking for the ones from Industrial Foregoing, which looks like this. Um, 
that's some extraction. That's not what we're looking for. Uh, that's industrial craft. Wow. Okay. I know there's um, different upgrade. Maybe. Oh. Maybe it's called something different. Let's look at industrial foregoing instead of uh huh here's a fortune add oh they're called add-ons that's right oh or f yeah add-ons the range add-on uh, this one is tier zero Tier 1, Tier 2, uh, Tier 3, 4, 5. And each one of these, I believe, like the base range of it. Where is it? Uh, do, 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 do. I believe the base range might be... Oh, is there like one of those nifty little things where you can see the area? button show the working area yeah if you see it it only does the one block in front of it so what we might want to do is at least put a basic one in there so that it does a three by three area in case something's up against that back wall uh, so that it can kill it as well so uh, but the thing is we could make a really big area for this because these go up. Each one adds uh, one to each, one to the radius. Well, technically two, well, one to the radius. So uh, this goes up quite a ways. Tier eight, tier nine, tier 10, tier 11. Um, so I think that uh, at tier zero, it does a one. It'll increase it from a one by one to a three by three. I'm not sure, but that is probably all we really need. Um, yeah, it's just cobble. Um, yeah, let's do it. And it takes two plastic. Let's go get the plastic. Uh, and the lava, we need a lava bucket to, boink, that's for our machine, and, oh, look, oh, we need the two plastic as, as, as well, oh, yeah, that's just building up our stuff, that's awesome, got three stacks in there, and that, um, three stacks of wood should last quite a while. Uh, I also converted my coal to tiny charcoal, which if you just, you can take uh, one of your coal, put it in your crafting inventory, and bada bing, you get a tiny charcoal, which is the same as doing the sticks. I always throw the sticks in there, so <laughs> uh, each tiny charcoal will smelt one item. Uh, and actually, I think that's more efficient than doing the sticks because if you take one log, you can turn it into one piece of charcoal or you can convert it into eight. Is it eight sticks? Yeah. Oh, let's see. Yeah, it's just eight sticks. So that's actually twice as good because the eight sticks will only smelt four items. And if you convert your charcoal into eight tiny charcoal, that gives you eight smelts for one log. So that's definitely better. I need to remember that because <laughs> the, yeah. 
Oh, we also need a glass pane. I don't know if I have a glass pane. Anywhere. 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 No. It would be over here if I had it, though, so. Oh, it's going to take six glass. Uh, this will be... This is like a huge uh, step in progression, by the way. Getting that pink slime <laughs> is the hardest part. And then it's like a snowball rolling downhill, you know. Getting that material stonework factory is going to make gathering our resources so much easier. And it's pretty fast, too. It will cost power, but I think it's definitely going to be worth it. So let's get this little range add-on doodad and put it in our factory down there. What's good about this is that um, we could definitely increase uh, the size of our farm. Whereas this one's pretty much limited by uh, the fans, you know, blowing. You wouldn't really need it with this setup because the mobs can just stand there and yeah it'll kill them okay so now uh that will cover that whole area which is awesome we can hide that now we can go away wait a minute i don't have the bucket still so we need we need the bucket oh i wish i could see it doesn't tell you how much fluid it has in it, which is such a shame. It used to tell it on there, like give you um, certain MB out of 8,000 millibuckets when it was, uh, you know, just the, the other, the previous versions of that. So, poo. <laughs> All right, so let's kind of clean up our inventory. Um, I will throw that and that in there because that's no longer necessary. I'll go ahead and throw our iron spikes in there. This is part of the recipe. I'm going to throw that extra in there. We also don't need those anymore. So I guess... Um, we can put our Invar and Bronze in there. Oh man, this is, uh, I'm so excited to get this going. Uh, I'm going to try and put three here. And this, uh, it's got a very unique interface because it allows you to do the work of multiple machines all in one block and each each step has its own like column to it um let me see if i can find it in here actually let's just do this ah here we go so if you look it goes it has a spot for like four different actions you can take it produces the cobble, which is here, and then you can do something in this first slot, like cook it, or build it into, craft it into something, or break it down with a pick. I believe that's like the only, oh, there's the crafting one. What is, why did it have like wood? guess um oh maybe that's uh just does the four by four recipe whereas the crafting grid allows you to put it in a nine by you know the three by three crafting grid which would be compressed and this would just take the two okay i get it i get it uh so yeah there those are the different things you can do to it and it's Look at that, you do quadruple compressed cobblestone in one block. And it generates the cobblestone too, so that's pretty nice. So, if you look here, 
oh look you could even make compressed dust uh, if you put three picks you get dust this skips the dirt I believe it goes from cobble to gravel then gravel to sand and then sand to dust otherwise it would take you would have to have the fourth one there so you could do uh, dust and then compress it too all in one block so that's pretty awesome but I like using the normal dust uh, because you have the AOE sieving which to me is um, a little bit more efficient than the compressed dust because you're getting more resources because if you look at the um, the heavy sieve it o it only gives you like the percentage of stuff from like six or seven blocks and then the other two are like lost so if you do the AOE sieve with the normal dust you're not losing those extra two blocks where this is it's actually faster if you only do the one. Actually, it would be the same since there is AOE sieving. So it's really not even worth it to do this unless... Can you AOE sieve compressed? <laughs> if you could do that, then uh, yeah, that would be freaking amazing, I guess. Because uh, then you just get it that much faster. I'm curious now, can you, can you AOE compressed? How do you make a compressed um, doodad? Because that would be interesting. Because um, it's just wood. Heavy sieve, there we go. Oh, that's just five logs and a couple of sticks. Well, we totally got that. Uh, so we'll need ten. We need at least two of these guys to see if it will do the AOE. I'm not sure if it will. Uh, let's just put it here. And then I believe we have like, uh, yeah, we have two string meshes. And I think we have, uh, yeah, I have some like dust here. Let's just make, um, two compressed dirt. This is just to see if it will AOE. It, it will not. So it's definitely more efficient to do it with uh, at least a 3x3 three three grid of those. You can actually do a 5x5 five five grid of that. <laughs> uh, so if we find that... Um, I wish I could just uh, get that back. Give me my dirt back. Oh, we got a grass seed. Um, Let's go ahead and put those away. Look at all that stuff. So that was cool that, well now we know that you cannot AOE heavy sieve. And got an extra grass seed, so that is awesome. Uh, we'll just throw that stuff in there. Um, I don't know if any of the, are we getting any mobs I might need to just uh, call the episode oh look it's got a little bit in here why isn't it going out oh I bet this is being stupid it has liquid meat over here oh, I, hate I hate it when oh and it's got pink slime over here all right <laughs> oh curse you um, I think if we just pick these guys up and place this over here, that should go in there. Did you pick up my thing? Yes, you did. 
So that should then clear it up. Really? I wonder if there's a way I can uh, put a liquid in the filter. I don't know if I can. And I'll probably have to wait until I get like a whole bucket. What I could do is since it looks like we've got the bucket of meat over here probably we could take that oh and i have a filter already um up up ah we can just make another one it's four more redstone but i want the that one filter to be where it is. Okay, so let's see if can we put this in here. Okay, and I want it to blacklist this. All right. Um. Oh, oh. Let's go ahead and make another one. Uh, it should work. We can blacklist it on one side and then whitelist it on the other so that it doesn't get confused anymore. <laughs> Alright, so there we go. We got our two filters. Awesome there. So uh this one's blacklisted so oh it's already got it over here <laughs> ah all right so let's swap them we'll put this one this one will whitelist the meat why won't it go in there Me. It's a fluid transfer node. Oh, maybe because it's looking for... I don't... I thought that would work. It might need to be... How would I do that? Um... All right, we might not we not might not be able to use these. Was this did this one have? Yeah, this one had pink slime in it. Well, that is really interesting. Filter fluids. Um, is there a fluid filter for this? Oh, there is! Oh, I could have saved a redstone! Why didn't you guys tell me? Now I got these two. Is there a way to clear this? I think, uh, yeah. Okay, those don't stack, but I'm pretty sure I'll probably wind up using those. So we just need to get some lapis, eight lapis. And we'll need to go back down and get some more sticks. Ah, what are you guys doing? Okay, this is gonna work. We're gonna set this up where these will filter, Boink. filter those items. Oh, when I need the string to. I did not know that they uh, separated those out. Oh, I'm such a noob. All right, so I want to do the same thing. Whitelist one. There we go. 
and then blacklist the other. Awesome. Now this should work. <laughs> All right. So this is the one we want to whitelist. Uh, that's the blacklist. That's the whitelist. There we go. There we go. Awesome. Oh, it's already got the freaking liquid meat in there. <laughs> this is so what? Does this one have pink slime in it? It does. Oh my god. Okay, let's swap them out. <laughs> that is crazy that it ping pongs it like that. All right, and let's get this one over here. There we go. Now it should stop doing that where it randomly sends one. Okay, and then we can toss this back in there. Do you got enough yet? Oh, it looks like it's getting bigger. <laughs> so I guess we'll go ahead and leave that uh, for this and I'll work some off camera to uh, get our pink slime bucket in the next episode we'll have our setup for um, the dust the automated dust I've already got a um, the place this is gonna funnel the dust from the stonework factory into our mechanical user down here <laughs> And I want to have three of them because we have three crushers over here. But I don't know. I'm going to have to see how fast it goes because I think it's pretty fast. Um, so it'll be interesting uh, to see how fast it is compared with the other one. So we might only need one. So we'll have to see how it goes. Um, but these, um, I'm probably going to tear into this and uh, do like I did over here with, with these little guys. Um, uh, because there is a cobble gin over there. And, oh yes, yes. Uh, at the starting in the next episode, we'll go ahead. Actually, let's do it right now. We completed a couple quests by doing all this stuff. I did upgrade this cobble generator over here to the diamond one because we have a lot of diamonds now. So that's a diamond cobble gen feeding those uh, <sighs> crucibles. So we got a quest to turn in there and then we got a couple in the storage. Oh, it was because I made a controller slave. Uh-huh. I remember that now. Okay, so the controller slave is upstairs. And I'll show you where I put it. These uh, act... It's, it says it's... In the description, it says it extends the range of the controller. And it does. Sort of. Uh, but what you can do is you can have your one controller over here. This is a controller. But this one over here is a slave. So you can feed into this just like you would the, the, the draw controller. Uh, so this is attached to trim, which runs all the way over to this section. So it connects it to our drawer controller. So it, in essence, increases the range <laughs> of that. So uh, once this sieve setup gets going, it's going to pull out all of the, the nine different items and send them over here. I need to get a filter. Oh, it's a good thing I made that other filter and put it over there. Oh, my God. Ah! Run! Run like the wind! <laughs> you little... It's what you get for being in my base. 
Oh, okay. So anyway, let's see what's in these guys. Oh, these are for mechanism. Um, I'm not really into mechanism. My husband loves it, but I don't. He loves tinkering with it, and they have some really cool things in there. Uh, but it just gives me a headache just thinking about it. Because <laughs> uh, he will mess with it for hours and hours to try to get just one thing just right. Uh... And I'm not sort of into that. I like to just have my stuff work. Look at that. We got three cats too. I'm surprised. There's actually five. There's more parrots than there was before. And there's cats. Why is there chicken on the floor? Did the cats kill the chicken? See, I, that's what I don't understand. Why didn't the cats murder the parrots? I guess because the parrots can fly away and oh we got an extra seed I don't know if I went over that but I did add on this room I want this to be for mystical agriculture so like I want this whole place to have the inferium seeds in it and I had another tier 3 crystal drop from a bag so that's why this sort of motivated me to clear out this room and get that going uh, I want to also get this automated uh, they're all running away from me no no be gone it's weird that like one or two of the crops will not grow and the others grow really fast so look these two didn't grow, and these two didn't grow, and this one didn't grow on each one. But the sugarcane grows extremely fast. I've also been uh, harvesting the fish and setting it up. Uh, so we got, like, meat and stuff. It's pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> I really don't need to eat just apples. It's just I haven't... I want to set up a kitchen as well. There's so many things I want to do that's so fun in this pack. I love the the cooking for blockheads. And it's, I love that mod. So I'm hoping to get into that. Uh, but I wanted to get some of the base material gathering done. So that's what I'm working towards. Getting uh, uh, now that we're almost to the dust getting sieved and that'll get us coming in with the redstone and that's a huge thing uh so yeah i hope you'll join me back for the next episode when we finally get our stonework factory completed <laughs> anyway thank you for watching and we'll see you next time Bye bye